and welcome back to eSkate Nomad, your ultimate destination for everything electric skateboarding. Hi, I'm Tom and today we're diving back into the latest offerings from ASTEC, the all new NYX Z3 electric mountain board. In this video, we're gonna be pushing this board to the limit to see if we can break it and see how far this board can go. I discovered a few things along the way and I wanna share them with you before you get your own electric mountain board. But before we jump into this electrifying review, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next electrifying adventure. First of all, when you invest a lot of your hard earned money in a new product, the unboxing experience should be something that's truly, truly special. And I don't understand why it's not talked about more. When I received this board from ASEC, I can say it was packaged really, really well. And it came full of extras, including tools, spares, information, and it made the unboxing experience something that's truly, truly special. Now let's talk about what's powering this beast. Now this board comes with a enormous 1,036 watt hour battery in a 14S 4P configuration. However, this is where ASEC really, really shines because it has a sheer range of battery configurations available to you. You can get this board in a 650 watt hour battery, 1,294 watt hour battery, and a huge 1,554 hour watt battery which means there's a variety of different batteries which start with ranges from 40 kilometers up to a huge 90 kilometers range. Which means as a customer, you can truly get the board that is suited for you. So for me, I feel like my board with that 14S 4P is a perfect balance between weight, power and range. I've been reviewing this board for about a month now and I can say I've taken on all types of e-skate adventures, including urban, street, and mixed all terrain. And I feel with this 14S 4P battery, it gives me all the range I need without going into that dreaded range anxiety. So especially when you're buying a off-road build, a lot of the time people don't mention that in an urban environment, they obviously succeed with really smooth rides. But when you take the board in an off-road setting, it is sometimes disappointing with the power and range that you get. For me, I feel this is a balance between urban and off-road. But when you take an off-road setting, it can be disappointing. You don't want to come away with buyer's remorse. So make sure you get a battery configuration that is suited for your conditions. And as you can see, being a mountain board, this battery is a top mounted design. Now the the benefit of this is it gives you maximum clearance for off-road riding. So you're not gonna be hitting the enclosure and you can smash this thing around with confidence. And I've been taking it off some gnarly trails and it's been performing absolutely perfect. Now with the sheer versatility of options, this also extends to the motors as well. Now with my board, it comes with twin 4,500 watt motors in a size of 63, 65, and a KV rating of 150. Now this is same with all versions of this board, except for the biggest, baddest option with that huge 1,050 watt battery. That board is being powered by twin 7,500 watt motors in a size of 6890 and a KV rain as the same 150 KVs. Now this board has an advertised top speed of around 37 miles an hour or 60 kilometers an hour. And then depending on what board you get is how fast you get there. Now here's one thing I love to see with the eSkate companies nowadays, upgrades, features as standard with your purchase. Gone are those days when you buy a board, you have to upgrade the hubs, the drives to really make it the board that you really want it to be. Now this board comes with 6061 aluminum element gear drives, and these are the 4.0 versions. Now this gear drive is made out of a 6061 aluminum, which means they are built to last. And you guys know I'm a huge, huge fan of gear drives on the channel, and it's nice to see that ASTEC are cooking up something really, really special. Now these gear drives have a super premium finish about them, and they are in a gear ratio of four to one, which is a healthy balance between acceleration and top speed. Gone are those days when you have to have a gear drive with a million screws and a piece of paper to do the backlash and deal with a world of pain simply just to ride and maintain your board. These gear drives are small, compact, and they are built to last. Now here's one of the key features about the ASTEC is the brand new suspension system. The all new suspension system stands out for its innovative design, combined in independent tire movement with a traditional truck platform for optimal turning. They use super premium materials such as aerospace grade aluminum and EXA form shock 
absorbers, ensuring durability and comfort, making it a top choice for riders seeking both performance and reliability. And I feel like those trucks are not designed to take a real bashing. However, these ones have been absolutely abused by me and they've been holding up really, really well. What's wicked about these trucks is they are more compatible with a wider demographic of board. So if you have a mainstream board and you want to stick like a suspension system on it, you have the ability to do it with these brand new trucks. And in my opinion, these trucks are unlike anything I have ever ridden before. And without a doubt, the softest trucks I have ever reviewed on the channel. And to be honest, with this review, I've tried to find the most harshest of terrains to see if this board can do it. And it rides over everything live after. Now these trucks can be tuned in many different ways. So if you want to tune the bushing setup, you can choose between the 85A durometer or the harder 75A compound for a more harder uh, bushing setup. And this also extends to the shock absorbers as well. So you can actually adjust the spring setup. So if you want a harder ride, you tighten these bad boys down and it performs more like a traditional mountain board, or you can soften them so have a more of a softer ride, depending on what you need. So there's a lot of versatility with these trucks to tune them for your perfect ride. Now, I don't know if ASEC have a fetish with a CNC machine, but there are CNC parts all over this board. And this extends over to the hubs as well. Now the hubs are also made out of a high grade aluminum alloy, which are designed to look super sexy and made to take a real, real batch in. Now these hubs also work in adjacent with the premium gear drives. So it allows a simple push fit design. So you haven't got to worry about screws, bolts, any of that jazz. And you simply just whack this onto the gear drive and it works absolutely seamlessly. Now these hubs are paired with the 8 inch off-road knobbly tires, which gives you all the traction you need and gives you plenty of clear for any off-road situation that you come across. Now this board is packaged with ASEC's all new FOC ESC. Say that three times fast. At 145 amps, this produces a great amount of torque and efficiency. And I want to say this ESC is a nice upgrade from the previous ESC. It is super, super smooth and reliable. And to be honest, I have been putting this board through its paces trying to break this thing and it seems to be holding up really, really well. Now I took this board to an off-road one wheel event to whip it around and try out some of the features for the event, taking it for some hard off-road riding and I definitely got some heads turning. And if you want to know more about that event, I'll put a link to that event in the description below. Now this board, in my opinion, is packaged with a really tiny, disappointing three amp charger, which will charge your board with the largest battery in a disappointing five hours, depending on what battery size you pick. Now I believe this charger is simply too small. However, if you're interested in a faster charger, there is an option on the website to upgrade to a six amp charger. Now one thing I was confused about with is simply the scale of customizable options with this board. You don't get the option at checkup to buy the fast charger when you're buying your board. So it'd be nice if ASEC actually incorporate that as part of your purchase so you don't have to buy this charger at a later date. Now the remote that comes with this board, in my opinion, is standard. Just does what it needs to do. It gives you information that you need. It comes with a thumb wheel design, which is tried and tasted, and it works absolutely fine. It shows you the battery level of the board, the remote, the speed you're doing, and the overall distance that you've done over the board. In my opinion, it's standard. It just does what it needs to do. However, if you want to jazz up your remote, ASEC do offer CNC houses in a variety of different colors to really make your remote your own, which gives you a nice, strong, robust look, and also adds a little bit of customization to your board. Now, the deck that comes to this board is made out of a mixture of maple, bamboo, and carbon fiber. The deck has a nice flex to it, and it will give you the confidence to know that it will handle the roughest of off-road rides. Another feature about this deck is that it comes with pre-drilled holes, which enables you the options to add bindings to your board. And if for any reason at a later date, you feel like bindings aren't for you, you can simply remove them. And this board comes with replaceable cushioned foot pads. So it'll make the board look like it did when you opened it for the first time out of the box, which I think is a really nice feature. Now this board doesn't ride like anything else I have ridden before. And it's one of the smoothest boards I've ever ridden. And there are a lot of moving parts as part of the suspension system. Now I was doing some tinkering with this board and I forgot to add some brand new Loctite. And as a result, after coming back from a long ride, one of my bolts fell out at my door 
um, and luckily I was able to put it back in my board. But it's one thing to be aware of if you're doing any tinkering with the suspension system, you wanna make sure you reapply that Loctite to ensure that all your bolts are secure and safe for your next ride. Now with this truck system, it definitely adds a lot more weight to your board. So if you're more into jumping and your mindset is to do some aerial tricks with your mountain board, you might wanna consider the MYXZ3 instead as it's more in line with a traditional mountain board. Now this is not necessarily good or bad thing. This comes down to personal preference. So this gives you the option with ASEC to choose if you want a more traditional mountain board or you want something with a suspension system. So it all comes down to the customer's preference which ASEC are facilitating for. So from my full in-depth review of this board, I believe it is truly amazing value for money. With the freedom to pick the perfect size battery for your board, premium CNC parts, a revolutionary new suspension system and at a competitive price from $1,599 to $2,899, I feel ASEC have really knocked out the park with this one and makes me super excited about what's coming next. And if you're interested in getting your own board, there will be a discount code in the description below, which will give you a discount at checkout. And if you have any questions about this board that I've not mentioned in this video, please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you're looking for more passionate e-skate enthusiasts, then you might want to check out my Facebook group, Eskate Nomads, where we share stories, builds, and the latest in Eskate content. See you there. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, subscribing for the latest in Eskate content, and as always, stay safe, stay shredding, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.